Hi, my name is Kevin Doherty, and I'll be presenting probabilistic data association via mixture models for robust semantic slant. This is a joint work with David Baxter, Edward Schneeweiss, and John Leonard. Humans seamlessly incorporate knowledge of semantics in everyday navigation. To get from one place to another, we reason about where we are based on cues like buildings, street signs, cars, and more. We'd like to build more intelligent robots that can do the same, not just getting from A to B, but understanding their environment semantically. The ability to build, maintain, and use a map of semantic landmarks during navigation is key to developing more spatially intelligent robots. Moreover, recent advances in machine learning for perception have helped make it possible to realize this vision for robots. Unfortunately, despite immense recent progress in machine learning for tasks like object detection, there are still a number of challenges associated with using these systems for navigation. Real scenes encountered during the operational lifespan of a robot might not be representative of model training data. Moreover, robots often experience open set conditions where entirely different object classes may be observed at runtime than those known at training time. If you've used systems like this before, you might be familiar with results like the ones shown here, where an off-the-shelf neural network behaves unpredictably, even in nominal, not adversarial conditions. Even as object detectors improve, we shouldn't expect perfection from a learned perception model over the lifespan of a robot, and neither should our algorithms. We want to use semantic landmarks for navigation, but the issues we've seen in state-of-the-art object detectors present two challenges. First, object detections, usually represented as bounding boxes around the object of interest, are ambiguous, particularly in cluttered scenes, making data association a challenge. In this image of cars detected by a neural network, it's not clear to a human which cars are being detected. Beyond that, learned perception models may fail unpredictably. So any navigation method using these models must account for false positives, false negatives, and misclassification errors. As a consequence, there's a need for more robust representations for semantic navigation tasks in order to leverage the benefits of learned perception models while mitigating their failures. To formalize this problem, we consider the following formulation of semantic slam with unknown data association. We aim to find the most probable set of robot poses consisting of 3D positions and orientations of the robot at all points in time. Semantic landmarks, which consist of a position in 3D space and a semantic class from a known set of classes. And data associations, discrete variables indicating the correspondence between each measurement and the landmark in the environment. In this work, we use odometry measurements between subsequent robot poses and object detections from a stereo camera, though our proposed approach isn't restricted to this configuration. The primary difficulty associated with this inference problem is that the set of all possible hypotheses representing associations between measurements and landmarks grows exponentially as a robot navigates. Any method for navigation based on environmental landmarks needs to address this issue. The most common approach to this problem is maximum likelihood data association, which simply selects the most probable hypothesis at each point in time and discards any others. This approach can be brittle when there is significant measurement noise or false positives, as we often encounter when using object detections. Multi-hypothesis methods seek to represent combinations of discrete hypotheses, but often this representation becomes computationally intractable. On the other hand, there's substantial prior work in the area of robust SLAM, including works like max mixtures and switchable constraints which have historically been successful at rejection of outlier measurements and navigation tasks. In the context of semantic slam, probabilistic data association methods that flexibly make soft data association decisions have shown some recent success. And so our work builds on ideas from both of these areas and aims to bridge the gap between prior work on robust slam and recent work on semantic slam in order to improve the resilience of a semantic navigation system to uncertainty due to detection errors, as well as geometric ambiguity. Our approach proceeds as follows. When a new measurement arrives, we first decide whether it corresponds to a new landmark or a known landmark. We use a threshold on the measurement likelihood to determine whether a landmark is new or previously known. If a landmark is new, we simply add it to our map, initialized using the value of the measurement. On the other hand, if the measurement corresponds to one of the known landmarks, there might be ambiguity as to which of the known landmarks is correct. In this case, rather than selecting the single most likely association, we maintain multiple hypotheses as a mixture. In particular, given a set of candidate hypotheses, we implicitly represent the ambiguity due to this discrete decision as a continuous function. 
Specifically, we aim to marginalize out data association variables in a way that will permit efficient inference over the remaining variables. First, we compute the approximate marginal probability of each data association hypothesis. Here, we show a factor graph representing the joint distribution for two poses and two landmarks with a single ambiguous measurement. This measurement has two hypotheses, and we compute their respective probabilities by marginalizing out all pose and landmark variables. In general, this integral is intractable, but under the assumption of nonlinear Gaussian measurement noise, it can be approximated. Next, using these probabilities, we compute a max marginal over possible data association hypotheses. Max marginalization is key to our approach, as it eliminates the data association variables from the inference process. The resulting factor, which we term a semantic max mixture factor, corresponds to a mixture over hypotheses, as in prior work on max mixtures, with weights summarizing semantic as well as geometric information associating the measurement to each candidate landmark. For more of the mathematical details of our approach, we encourage you to check out our paper. The resulting factor graph representation that we develop is amenable to continuous optimization techniques like Gauss-Newton and others, available with common off-the-shelf optimization tools for navigation like GTSAM. By leveraging these tools, our method can achieve real-time performance. Finally, we can account for potential false positives in this framework by allowing for a null hypothesis decision corresponding to a Gaussian prior with large variance. In order to evaluate our approach, we developed a custom data set so that we could simulate arbitrary semantic slam tasks with a known data association baseline. Using April tag fiducials, a unique identifier for each tag can be mapped to an artificial semantic class. This approach allows us to recover ground truth data associations and provides a best case scenario baseline. Here we show a situation where tags are mapped to one of two semantic classes. Additionally, this allows us to simulate misclassification errors in addition to odometry noise, which we can use to evaluate the robustness of a semantic slam approach. With this method, we were able to simulate semantic slam under a variety of noise characteristics. We found that on these artificial semantic slam tasks, our approach outperformed baselines like maximum likelihood data association. The environment shown here contains around 200 tags, and this data set was recorded over about 30 minutes using an MIT race car ground robot equipped with a stereo camera for odometry and detections. In this example, we simulated a 10% misclassification rate and added additional odometry noise. Our approaches, both with and without the addition of the null hypothesis, provide a more accurate trajectory estimate. Our paper includes a detailed quantitative comparison of these methods under several simulated noise models. We also found that our approach offered improved robustness on real data. Here, we tested the accuracy of our semantic slam system on a benchmark odometry sequence from the Kitty dataset. Here, we used the Viso2 stereo odometry system in conjunction with the MobileNet SSD object detector using cars as landmarks for navigation. The maximum likelihood approach quickly fails once even a few incorrect data associations are made. In contrast, our approach produces reasonable trajectory estimates despite noise and detections and a few moving landmarks. Both of these videos can be found in full at the link on the screen. With all of this said, there are still many ways that this work could be improved. For example, more granular feature descriptors can be used to help disambiguate objects of the same class in Clutter. Moreover, previous work has shown that assessing joint compatibility for data association rather than individual compatibility as we do here can greatly reduce the size of the hypothesis space and prune obviously incompatible data associations immediately. Finally, in this work, we focused on the data association problem and didn't consider the issue of semantic landmark representation. Knowledge of the full six degree of freedom pose of an object can greatly improve the accuracy of data association. So methods for inferring the full pose of objects like the quadric representation are of interest. By making use of probabilistic data association and building on ideas from robust SLAM, we've presented a semantic SLAM approach that mitigates the complexity of the data association problem. We implicitly represent multiple data association hypotheses in a way that supports optimization using nonlinear least squares method. This allows us to leverage the benefits of learned perception models for navigation while being robust to their potential failures. For more information, please check out our paper and stay tuned for updates at our project page on GitHub.